What's up, everybody? I am here with incredible creator Margaret Stoll. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Okay, first of all, I got to say, you've been writing Carol Danvers' Life of Captain Marvel. So much Carol goodness. Uh, what is it like now to be at Comic-Con after the big film and see? I mean, everybody has loved Carol for so it's long. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. I mean, this is like our anniversary. We meet yeah. and have this talk. <laughs> it's true. Every San Diego. And think how much has changed in the last year. It's crazy. I mean, you guys, if you are not coming to Comic-Con this year, it is everywhere. Everyone is dressed like Captain Marvel. It is kind of nuts. I have, I have, look, I have. You literally have goosebumps. I do. I'm so proud. Lorraine, I'm so proud. I, I mean, I am too. It feels like um, we let the secret out and now everybody knows knows that it's the truth. I know, but it's been such a personal thing for us for so long that just seeing the global reception to that, yeah. and they killed it. Uh, oh, yeah, the film. What, Brie killed it, everyone what did you, killed what it. What did you think of the film? You Did the you get to go to the premiere? I, we did, we yeah. saw it. Well, you were working it in your spangly dress. Yeah, I like to wear sequins and I am very, very busy, but what was it like for you being at the premiere and getting to see the film? I wore my red carpet tennis shoes. <laughs> yes. For starters. That's very LA. It was very LA. <laughs> no, it was uh, totally overwhelming. I was there with my good friend Susanna Hoffs, who was uh, the head of a ra uh, lead singer of an 80s rock band, The Bangles, and it was like the crush of like playing a show. She was like, oh yeah, I remember this. That's what it felt like, like a huge concert. Oh, I know. So huge and so epic. All these city blocks, you know, blocked off. Six F-16s flying overhead. The F-16s, like I could not believe that. I know, it really was so cool. And all the, the little girls. All of the little girls. I was right behind on the red carpet, I was right behind the child Carol, and that was amazing. Oh yeah, she's a delight. Um, I have to say, one of the things I, I've really loved, you're an incredible writer. Um, I love your books. You've gotten to work with Black Widow for yeah. your YA novels. Yeah. Um, I, and now you've gotten to work a ton with Carol Danvers. Yeah. Who, Carol or they're, Black Widow? You have so, to pick. so different. No. Carol is my, okay, Natasha, first love, Carol, recent, most recent love. I also love what Kelly Thompson's been doing with her since the movie. So, like, I mean, I feel like Carol's in a really good place and everyone is really taking care of her. So that's like a happy feeling when everyone is as invested you know, as, as we were. Yeah. Um, and Life of Captain Marvel, I'm still so proud of it. I think it's almost my favorite thing I've ever worked on. I love it. It is one of my favorite, favorite Carol stories of all time. I think it's so beautiful. I'm, I'm curious because it deals a lot with her mother. I know that you are a mother and that is part of your life story. Yeah. Uh, how did that influence you as you wrote that storyline? Oh, it was huge. I mean, it. It's a really uh, clear memory for me that, and I say this all the time, like new, new products and new worlds and new comics come from new conversations. And that was like, like that. an amazing room. We had this like Carol Summit with Joe Casada and Sana Manet, Steve Wacker and C.B. Cebulski and before that Axel. And we really worked out like what were all our own origin stories because for a human your origin story is a family story right and so working on carol's origin we worked on our own family stories so that's a really personal comic for me it's a lot about all of our families. It's it's a really personal comic for me too. I know Ryan and I we read that comic and we were doing a podcast about it. We were both just going on and on about how much we were crying. Yeah, I know. I know. I still can barely talk about it. So it was a great thing. Well, what should we look forward uh, for from you coming up? I, you know me. I am continuing to. I make uh, video games. I make books. I make comics. I have a new. Uh, younger book, Cats vs. Robots, yes. now with fleas, <laughs> out in the fall. Um, which, and you do have lots of cats and robots in your home, I, so I feel I like do. that was a natural Hard book nerd. I have uh, a couple other projects I can't talk about, and some Marvel stuff that I just wrapped up. So, some, some more things coming your way, never far from home, I don't stray. There you go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much thank for talking with us. It's always my favorite thing at the show. Oh, my oh. Oh, goodbye. See you later, suckers.